Welcome to Engineering Funda family. This video is a part of Advanced Microprocessor Video Lecture Series and in this video, I'll be going to explain you LDT of Microprocessor 80386. LDT means Local Descriptor Table. So you'll be having one table. In that table, descriptors will be there. And as if all these descriptors specifies local memory space area then this table will be local descriptor table means LDT. So first of all you should understand what is local memory space area. So to understand that let me give you one example. Let us say you are having four different tasks executed by microprocessor. Task 1, task 2, task 3 and task 4. Now as if all this task is accessing common memory then you can say this common memory that will be there in GDD. But individual task is having local memory and that local memory is not accessible by other task, right? So the local memory space which is there with task 1 cannot be accessed by task 2 or any other task. Local memory space which is there with task 2 that cannot be accessed by task 1 or any other task. So this local memory space area that is defined inside LDT. But my dear students, here are few basic tricks that you need to understand. See, local memory space, that will change with respect to task, right? And global memory space, that will not change with respect to task. This is where you need to understand how it will be defined inside. Global memory space, that is assigned by GDT, that will not change with respect to time. But local memory space, that will change with respect to task. For task 1, local memory space will be different compared to task 2, right? So local memory space will change. How it will change and how it will be assigned over here, that is what the case which I'll be explaining in this video. So you just see this video till last, we'll be able to understand how different tasks may have local memory space as per LDD. So my dear students, LDT is local descriptor table and LDT represents local memory area shared by different tasks. And my dear students, as I have explained, LDT is not defined as an independent table, right? We have already seen GDT was defined as a independent table. In that we were been having how many at max descriptors? Total 8192 descriptors. So that starts from descriptor 0 to descriptor 8191. So this is independent table, right? And to access that table, we were been having GDTR register that was containing base address of this GDT that is also base address of descriptor 0. And with respect to limit, you can track the memory over here. So as per total 8192 descriptor, that GDT that was having at max size of memory that was 64 KB, right? And that 64 KB memory track that can be done by this limit. So that is what we have already discussed. But when we talk about LDT, it is not like GDT, right? Here, you will be having descriptor LDT inside GDT. So out of this descriptors, any descriptor could be descriptor LDT and this descriptor LDT that will be pointing one table that table again contains descriptor which is there regarding particular task right I'll explain you how it is there so you can say here we have descriptor LDT inside GDT and that will be spatial system segment descriptor which is there inside GDT and this LDT will contain base address and limit of local descriptor table, right? So this is single descriptor inside GDT, which will be containing base address and limit of local descriptor table. And to select this descriptor LDT, we have LDTR register. So you can observe here format of LDTR register that is index, then TI bit and privilege level. So here my dear students, this index is having size of 13 bits. So based on 13 bits, we can track how many descriptors? 0 to 8191 descriptor and this index 
will identify what is my descriptor LDT inside GDT, right? For example, if this index is phi, then it will be selecting descriptor phi as descriptor LDT. So that will change with respect to task. So let us say right now it is somewhere over here for task one. It may be possible that for task two, it may be somewhere over here, right? Once you define this, my dear students, you should understand one thing. Here LDTR that will change with respect to task, right? And it is not like GDTR register. It is having task dependency. And my dear students, once we select descriptor LDT, by this descriptor LDT, it will be having base address and limit of LDT table. So here, you see, based on this selected descriptor that is LDT, it is having base address. So that will be a base of this table, right? And this limit, that will specify how many descriptors are there in this table, right? So that is how we have local descriptor table. Now, whatever descriptor which are there inside of this LDT, that will be specifying local memory space area for particular task. So let us say you are having task one, which is assigned over here, right? So for task one, it may be having few descriptors, right? For task two, again, it may be having few descriptors in LDT. But my dear students, at max total descriptor in LDT that will be 8192 and to access the memory of this descriptor again we need to have selector and offset right so selector and offset concept that i have already explained so by using that we can be able to access these descriptors which are specified inside ldt but to specify ldt we need to select descriptor ldt which is there inside gdt and that descriptor ldt selection that will be done by ldtr register that is of 16 bits and index of 13 bits will select any descriptor which is there inside GDT which is working as LDT descriptor, right? And you should know this LDTR that will change this with respect to task. So it is not fixed, right? So this is how this LDT is there with microprocessor 80386. So my dear students, as I have explained that LDT is indicated by LDTR register, but LDT is not like directly we can use it. LDT is specified by LDT descriptor inside GDT and that LDT descriptor will be selected by LDTR register, right? So that is how things are happening in sequence. And you should know this LDTR that will change with respect to task. And when we talk about GDT, so that is having fixed memory space area. So that will not change with respect to task. But when it comes to LDT, in that case, you will be observing LDTR will track descriptor inside GDT. That's why it will change with respect to different tasks, right? So that is how things are happening. I hope it is clear to you. Still, if any query is there, just post that in comment box. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.